Hi, today we're going to look at integers, uh, multiplying and dividing them. So when I go through these problems, I want to think of it in uh, two ways. First way, let's worry about the number. 3 times 4. Well, that's going to give us a 12. Now, the next thing that I need us to look at is the signs. Well, I have a positive 3, I have a positive 4. How do I know that's a positive? Well, it doesn't tell me otherwise. When you have two positive numbers, your answer is a positive number. But you don't have to showcase that. So we used to say 12. Okay. When you have the next one, negative 3 times negative 4. First, let's just look at 3 and 4. That gives us 12. A negative times a negative now, here's where things get different. Well, when you have same signs, whether it be positive, positive, or negative and negative, your final answer is going to be a positive answer. Okay. Well, not a big deal here. What about this? Well, I have two negative signs. I have one, two. I have one sign, two signs. They make a positive. So same sign gives you a positive answer. You do not need to show that. However, when you have a positive and a negative or negative and positive, still getting 12, three times four. But when you have different signs, different signs mean negative. Three and four, 12 again, negative, positive. It doesn't matter the order. As long as they're different signs, it's still going to be a negative. So same signs, positive, different signs, negative as an answer. That's multiplication. Now, what about division? It's all the same rules. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Positive, positive. My answer is positive. Do you need to show that plus sign? No. 10 and 2 gives me 5. A negative and a negative is a positive. You don't need to show it. 10 and 2, we know is 5, but now we have a different sign. Different means negative. We have 5 again, but this time a positive and a negative. It doesn't matter as long as one of them is a negative. My answer stays a negative. And that is multiplying and dividing integers.